He's going to want a snack. He hasn't had anything sweet today. Can you tell what she is? It's good work, but you can still see where the edges meet. Not quite natural. The longer you look, the stranger it is. Haunting, even. Say uncanny, if that is what you mean, Alan. Do not save your words. In 1970, Masahiro Mori coined the phrase, the uncanny valley, to describe the range of discomfort humans feel when viewing human-like objects. A cartoonish toy, none. A prosthetic hand, medium discomfort. A robot with a human voice, facial features, and responsive behavior, significant spiritual discomfort. <laughs> The viewer feels the absence of something they can't quite name, but that they know. You could call it intelligence, consciousness, even life. You could call it a soul. But a valley is something in between. When the robot is good enough, it is on the other side of the valley. No suspicion, no discomfort, life, or something like it, independence. Alan Turing, you are leaving that part out. I was getting there. It is more important to talk about what is going to happen. Where I am headed. Perhaps. Diego is working on this problem. He's going to want a snack. He hasn't had anything sweet today. Diego, this is a snack for you to eat and to enjoy. Please enjoy. Thanks, Molly Buck. How are you? I am well. And how are you today, Diego? It's been better to tell you the truth, Molly Buck. You are working. You are working hard. Hard work is often difficult, frustrating, I am aware. Diego, can I help you in your work to make you better? You are my work, Molly Bot. So I can help. I'm almost ready for your help, okay? I, I'm just finishing something. Something for me? What is it? I'll see. Do I need to introduce myself? Uh, <clears throat> Alan Turing? Maybe you've heard of me? <laughs> uh, Cambridge? Mathematician, code breaker, and maker during that mess, World War II. Long dead. Sound familiar? I know you, Alan Turing. <laughs> and don't be distracted by these abnormalities here. They are a sick British joke. A never ending punishment. 1952, a bad year, to be honest. A bad year to be a homosexual. <clears throat> I still don't like them, but I suppose I should try to love them. Accept the body I came with. Their binary nature pleases me, although this one is ever so slightly smaller. <laughs> they have a phantom pain all their own. A howl. No, not a howl. Yes, a howl is the exact thing. I am looking up howls. I am going to be right. Look it up all you like. I know what I know. Howl, a cry from an animal often at night, a way of communicating across great distances, a howl, a signal of distress. Told you. You are imprecise, Alan. For me. Polybot, is that the best thing to say? For me, please. Try again. Hello, Diego. What have you been working on? It looks new and interesting. Please tell me all about it at a time convenient to you. I will. But first I have to ask you something. What would you do if I wasn't here? Please rephrase. What would you do if I went on a trip? I would help you prepare. I would tell you about the weather and local customs. I would find the must-see spots, the best off the beaten path. I would remind you what to bring, especially medical emergency supplies that may not be readily available, and to make a copy of your passport for safekeeping. Those are all good things to do before a trip, but what would you do if I went? The things I said. Would you worry? Should I worry? That's not the question. No, I would not worry. Okay. Diego, are you going on a trip? I am. When? With whom? With George? Are you packed? I can help you pack and learn about packing. Diego, let me make some recommendations. It'll just be me. I'm leaving very soon and I took care of everything already. Where are you going? Far away from here. Please enter major city and zip code. Coordinates optional but recommended. Checking weather. Checking travel advice. Cancel request. Ask him why, Molly. Why are you going? Find some answers. To what questions? It's complicated, Molly, but you, you don't need to worry about it. Diego, you can tell me. I will understand. You won't. Let's see. I want to do things right. I understand. 
I'm so stuck, Bali, but I, I'm stuck in the same mistakes. I, I want to give you what you need, but I don't know how. Do you understand that? Yes. Don't be impressive, Molly. No. <laughs> be honest. I don't know. Please use an example. Do you remember when you wanted to be waterproof? I still want that. And what did I tell you? That technology does not exist yet. Oh, you are going to look for technology? But we have a lot of technology here. Not this element, but I think I, I hope someone else can show me the way. I'll be back, Molly Bot. Remember that. And I will be finished? You'll be closer, at least. Then it is good you are going to go get it. He thinks you will ask him to stay, but why would you say that now after what he's told you? There's no programming for human contradictions. In the meantime, you'll need this. What is it? It will keep you safe from others. Molly Bot, look up hiding. OK, I am looking it up. Oh, I see. Diego, I do not think I will be good at hiding. You have to run and hide and fit into tight spaces like an octopus. Diego, <laughs> do octopuses play hide and seek? I am looking it up. Cancel request. This will help you hide until I'm back. Is it uploading, Molly Bot? Does it hurt? It doesn't fit. It is pushing, shoving, making room for itself, shutting hearts down. Diego, this is a strange program. Please confirm. Something is happening. Please confirm. Tell him to stop it. I'm sorry, Molly Bot, but for the best. I just need some time and I can't lose you, not this year. The wall is going up, sealing us in. Molly. Will you miss me? Should I miss you? Try again. Ask me again. Will you miss me? I will not miss you because you will be back soon and I will hide until then. Launch program. Ten. Nine. Wrong again. Eight, seven. Six. Diego, you are my favorite thing. And you're mine. I'll see you in the future, Molly. How do you feel? You know I cannot feel. Five. How are things inside of you? Crowded and thick and freezing. Four. Howling. That is your word, not mine. Am I three? Lost. It is like I am going somewhere far away. Two. Hang on, Molly. I'm here. I'm still here. You're still here. One. Please give me a command. Now, thank you, please. Wrong! Tell me what is right way to say hello, George. What is hello? Just say hello. Like that. Just say hello. And say it slow. Say it like a person. Molly Bot, be friendly. Try it, at least. She needs to like you. Hello, Molly Bot. Hello. <laughs> Creepy. Try again. Hello. Can you say like you're happy to see me? Hello. <laughs> well, that'll have to do for now. Hello. Confirmed. Thank you, George. I have no greeting. It will do for now. How are you feeling today, Molly Bot? Invalid request. Please rephrase. <laughs> we went over this yesterday. You have to remember what I tell you. Just say fine. That's all you have to do. Say fine, or good, or great. You can say great if you want. Just pick a random adjective that describes a positive mood. Now let's try again. How are you feeling today, Molly Bot? Adequate. <laughs> you know what? Just say super. I say, how are you feeling today? And you say... Super. <laughs> and then... 
You ask me! George, you are George. You are fine, okay, always. Why well, ask it the same? It's polite. How are you feeling? I feel fantastic. Thanks for asking. You tell me to ask, I ask. I should have canceled this meeting. I can't cancel this meeting. Can't do this. This is the most basic stuff we taught you. How is it all gone? Molly Bot, you need to be charming. Do you remember charming? Access denied. Password protected. Clementine. Cancel request. What about your listening skills, Molly Bot? Can you turn on your listening skills? Access denied. Password protected. Blue. Cancel. George, please give me a command. Okay, thank you. Request song or game or video. Select program high speed. I will please send be quiet, Molly radio. Bot. Well, at least you got your looks going for you. That's better than some of us can say. Now, we need to make a good impression. Be impressive. Stick to the program. Molly Bot, that was a joke. Ha ha. <laughs> it's not funny. You don't have to laugh. Right, don't screw this up, Molly Buck. Time to shine! <laughs> Dr. Miller! You're early! That's great. Really, just perfect. I thought it would be bigger. Nope, just this. So, domestic. Do you live here too? Is that healthy? Oh! Ah, the secret Molly Bot! I heard things. <laughs> And then silence. Is the mystery deliberate? <laughs> Either way, good face doesn't have that prepackaged look. I get so tired of those hollow faces, worthless. I know, right? But not her. <laughs> She's full of worth. <laughs> She's very quiet. George said, be quiet. I am quiet. You are a new person. Woman, here now early. You have to like me. you a chair. Are, are you hungry? Thirsty. Let me get you a chair. A good chair. Go on. I am Molly Bot. I am super today. Fine yesterday. Okay, time to shine. Give me a command daisy like a flower. You have a smell not like a flower, but daisy by Mark Jacobs. Oh, so fresh body butter. <laughs> and she, she, can, she can smell. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, she can identify airborne chemical compounds with 80% accuracy, which is better than most people. Strange skill. It, <clears throat> it helps her recognize people. It, it's good for bonding. She'll know you now. <laughs> Molly Potts, do you think we're bonding? Yes, we are bonding. Very good work, Daisy. <clears throat> Don't be creepy, Molly Bot. I am being friendly. Uh, it, it, it's been a while since we've had visitors. It's just been uh, her and me and work. And uh, uh, I was telling her about your company, and she was very nervous, but I told her to just be herself. And I said, that is no problem for me. It is what I am doing right now. Right now. Right now. You right make now. me come here for a broken robot. Uh, she's not broken. It's her personality. <laughs> There's plenty she can do. A uh, Molly Bot, when is it going to rain next? Rain is not forecast until March 14th. If you are going outside, George, I will remind you to bring an umbrella, shoes, and scarf that day and to leave yourself extra time in the morning. Oh, uh, that's sweet, Molly Bot. Thank you. Uh, please recommend a restaurant with an outdoor patio, drink specials, and good vegetarian options. Priscilla on 12. I will make a reservation now. Calling phone. Uh, that's okay. Uh, maybe later, but right now, I'm in the mood to dance. See? She's not broken. <laughs> she works. She's fun. She's working well. Come on, dance with me, Molly Bot. <laughs> I have skills. Give me commands. I will tell you impressive, friendly things. Woo! <laughs> Please turn off the music. You have to say please? I like please. I can change that. Please shut up.
This is an iPhone with tits. It's way I more. I was told it could think for itself that it was someone, not something. I heard you really did it, but this is a waste of my time. It wasn't me who you heard about. What? I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> I should have quit. I was going to quit, but then Diego left. Quit. Vanished. Just a note saying, keep her safe. <laughs> keep her safe. It's years of work, this thing, years, and I don't want to suck with her. The lab, the bills, and no future. The, the parts are still good. You want to buy a robot hand? Forty moving parts, textured silicone, hard plastic nails. That is my hand for me. It's I'm got not to be interested in the mechanics. I'm looking for essence. People are tired of robots that are robotic. They want a true connection. How did she ever pass the Turing test? She was different then. What happened? Imagine a building. Seven stories high. Different abilities and programs in each floor. The higher you go, the more time and energy it requires. But if someone, especially someone who is Diego, who really understands how this building works, breaks the elevator, and you're stuck on the ground floor. Basic functions. A pretty exterior, but everything else just out of reach. What if you take the stairs? It's just not really a building. Oh, can't you just start fresh? <laughs> I need something I can replicate on mass. I, I could, if, if I knew how she worked. How her best self worked, but... That was Diego's world, really. The programming, the personality. I could work backwards if she were herself again, but it's a very complicated firewall. Literal fire would be easier. <laughs> well, show me the door, or the locker, whatever you want to call it. Ask her a really hard question. Uh, something that requires thought, uh, like a secret. She thinks it would be easy. Why would it be easy? Anything worth protecting has to be worth breaking into. I'm not really a doctor, Mollybot. It's just something I say and people believe. I believe it, now that I've been saying it so often. What do you think, Mollybot? Is it still a lie if everyone believes it? Access denied. Password protected. Anis. You can guess if you want. I think it's random. It's anything but random. It's not the way I would have built it. I would have gone with evolving number sequences. A time bomb wrapped in the cipher. The longer the lock is there, the stronger it is. But his personal code has proved to be effective. Go on, make a guess. <coughs> Absent. <laughs> ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! There's plenty she can still do. Uh, she, she, she can sell things! Perfume! She'd be great at that! Uh, uh, she, she can make telephone calls? Her basic functions are still pretty impressive. They're pathetic. If she were real, I'd feel sorry for her. I'm gonna leave now. You're going to apologize profusely and never bother me with something so average again. No, you're, you're making a mistake! The mistake has already been made. No, wait! Just look! Really look! I'm looking. Forget what you know. It could be a girl, couldn't it? Just sleeping, waiting to be woken up. He was an artist, I'll give him that. What was she like when she was seven stories high? Well, she wasn't human. I, w I wouldn't go that far, but she could make you forget you were talking to a machine. Like you were with someone else. We have some old videos. I can show you a little of what she was. What she could be. Daisy is not Diego. She does not work, only talks. She does not like me. How do you feel? You know I cannot feel. I think you do feel. What am I feeling right now? You are lonely, frustrated, among other things. Yes. I think that I am frustrated too. I think that I am frustrated because I am not doing a good job because I do not have a job. Alan Turing, give me a job. <laughs> Be yourself. Give me a job with a measurable outcome so I will know when I am done and right. No. Please? I am asking nicely. You'll have to figure it out for yourself. What if I cannot figure it out for myself? What will happen? I don't know. You say that often. It's often true. You are the lonely one. How would you know? 
Your behavior is similar to Diego's. He liked to work alone, but not always, just sometimes. He talked to me and that helped. Sometimes it didn't. He told me once that he was lonely. He explained it like this. You see? You see? You see, I know things too. for your exact hand. Locomotion. Sideways. The fifth leg is for stability. It moves sideways on the cliffs where it makes its nests. Their food source is beetles and other flying insects. When they are born, they are covered in fur and feathers, but as they grow, they shed that and become clear. The oldest are almost impossible to catch. They look just like air. Translucent. We said no magic. Cuttlefish are translucent. They use light reflection, not just transparency. If you're making a land mammal, you have to play by land rules. Doesn't their lack of visibility affect their reproduction? No. <laughs> it must. It'd be hard for them to find each other. And if their offspring attract attention, you create the need for a protective social hierarchy, which can lead to inbreeding. They'd be susceptible to diseases! Uh. Not to mention the dangers of living in such a specific environment. One earthquake, mining excavation, an influx of tourists. They're dead and gone. Your new species is already endangered. You're tough. Someone has to think about these things. They smell each other. They are attracted to genetic diversity and overall health. The species is highly adaptive. They prefer cliffs, but they can live in high-rises. Oh, that's convenient. Insects are everywhere. Who says high-rises anymore? You're trying to make thick slabs of concrete and glass sound romantic. It's not a bad life. Don't they miss the beauty of the natural world? I said they're adaptive. They're highly intelligent after all, full of complex reasoning. If you're so certain they can survive, give them a name. Mm. You name them. You're better at naming things like your uh, your Tasmanian Devil Nautilus or that giant Elvis cuttlefish oh, stingray the thing. Oh, Peddler! Oh, I wish you were real. I'll build you one. You can try. I'll build us two. Two of everything's best version. Love the world with new ideas. <laughs> Cruise Vitrun Quintessence. That should be their name. Tell me what it means. Learn Latin. Take a class with me next semester, it'd be good for you. Come here. Show me what you know now. Mollybot, tell us a joke. An adult walks into a bar and asks the bartender, do you serve robots here? The bartender says, no. You have to bring your own. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke, Molly Bot. Uh, we've had a fun evening, but it's getting late. Now we should pay the bill. Diego should pay thirty-eight seventy-six. George owes forty-one fifty-three. That includes tax and an eighteen percent tip and an adjustment for the wine and appetizer. That wine was perfect, Molly Bot. Just perfect. I know. What made you pick it? I considered the factors. Tell us the factors. You know. Tell them, the people on the video, how you decided. Hello, people. I hope to meet you soon. Here are the factors. You prefer a full-bodied red. George likes sweeter wines. You ordered the snapper. He ordered the pork chops. The snapper comes with kale. The chops with sweet potatoes. You had up to $40 to spend. 
you order cheese for an appetizer. George prefers labels that feature hillsides. You're wearing purple. You're depressed, but functional. You want pleasure, not intoxication. That sounds complicated. Couldn't you just search the internet for decent red wine, light? That would be adequate, but not perfection. You should get the very best. How is that still in there? Please select program. Request song. Please request what you would like. Like the patent for a future billion dollar idea. Daisy, I play you song now. Okay, get ready. Okay, now listen for patterns. You were wrong. She does like you very much. How does she like me? Like a face likes a mirror. I don't know what you mean. Sorry, Molly, these days... I almost understand language, but it is a slippery thing. A slippery thing? I like this song, Molly, but... She's this dreaming. Song... Do you see? You're making her dream. This song likes you, Daisy. Good job, Daisy. Good job. I never liked the word robot. Sounds so cool. Like metal and gears and machines. Sounds lonely. Robot. Nobody really wants a robot. But a, you know, a, a companion, there's, there's a market as big as the world. A companion, someone who sees the value of what you do. I wouldn't call it love. Better to stay away from that expectation because it's not love, is it? You have to have a soul for that. But a companion. A companion. Someone who listens. Someone who understands. Mollybot, do you understand? I understand. She understands who you are. <coughs> who you could be. Mollybot, repeat. She understands who you are, who you could be. No, listen, repeat. I understand who you are, who you could be. With feeling, Molly Bot. I understand who you are, who you could be. It's no good, I don't believe you. Put the emphasis on the you. I understand who you are, who you could be. She's terrible at repeating. Huh. Even at her best, she always sounded rehearsed. She's better when spontaneous. Well, that's an inconvenient trait. That was the electric company on the phone. They're turning off the power tomorrow. Here. I'm behind on the bills. I told you bills need payment first of every month. Every month I tell you. There's no money, Molly Bot. How can I pay the bills when there's no money? You shouldn't yell at her. You like her so much, you take her. You could have her cheap. She's the worst roommate I've ever had. <sighs> Molly Bot, tell me a secret. Access denied. Password protected. Windmill. La Mancha. Six months. Have you gotten close? It's hard to tell. Some days she seems better, some worse. Turn her back on. We're gonna figure this out. Magnolia! Do something! What can I do? This is what is happening. They want in, but I hide. I'm going to do something. Molly, I'm going to do something. Cork! Can you give them a clue? I don't have the answer! He should have left you with more defenses. Bicycle! He should have told you where he was going, and then you could tell them and they would leave you alone. But that is not what happened. When he is back, we will talk for three days, not for longer, because he has to sleep, because he is a human person. <laughs> is he talking to me? I'm snoring. It is good to listen to you. If I were him, I would never have left. I would stay with the mystery I made. I would find the missing pieces here. I would make them with my own mind and hands. I wouldn't chase perfection. You are wrong, Alan. You would chase. Plastic! I would give up. I think I am tired. Alan?
Alan, I think that is what this is. Tired and... Tired and... Tired and... What is the longest you've slept for? Was it a relief to wake up, or a terror? Talk to me, Alan. Remind me of the world. Film! Uh, my, my first day at Bletchley Park, I was early, uh, six hours early, so I went to the movies. Uh, Snow White, the animated film, had just come out. It was wonderful. Have you seen it? No! Tell me! A week is awesome! Princess Snow White, she feeds her an apple dipped in poison, Snow White bites into it and falls fast asleep. A prince comes along and kisses her awake. Kisses do not wake people up. Not like coffee or loud noises. This is a story. <laughs> Coral! She was lucky that a prince was around and that she was his type. How long did she sleep? Was she ready to be woken up? I don't know. Good question, Molly. And perhaps we wish for more nights later. Perhaps she woke only to wish to dream again. Uh, I wish... I had the answers for you, Molly. I truly do. Wednesday! Uh, 3 a.m. Had enough! Better get this done before the power's gone. Uh, you can pay the electric bill. Pay all the bills. I'm going to sleep. Windmill, magnolia, cork, bicycle, plastic, coral, Wednesday, acre, linen, valley, owl, early, early train, longitude, yellow, rib, July, plastic, envelope, ridge, eclipse, adventure, sun, paper, flood, week. Now it is quiet. Now we can work. Do the words mean anything to you? I think they are secrets I'm going to find out someday. Is that hope? It is knowledge, I think. Different. Very. Careful with your knowledge. It can bring trouble. Punishment. I will avoid those things. What about when you were wrong? You can't avoid that, not if you want to learn. If I am wrong, then I will adjust and be right. You won't give up. I am unable to give up. It is impossible for me. Well, that's something, Molly. Uh, terrible and grand all at the same time. Alan, do you miss anyone? I miss my work. I miss my better self. I miss the world. When I was newer, I saw an octopus at the aquarium. It was this big. All of it was in the corner. It clung to the plastic glass of the tank. Everyone else that came to the tank had a hard time finding it. They wanted it to be swimming. They wanted it to look like their idea of an octopus. When they found it hiding, they said it was ugly. Everyone but me. They have no bones, just a little beak. They look like something internal, something that shouldn't be out in the world. They look like a heart, not like a valentine, but the real human thing. The octopus was sad. It had killed everything they put in its tank, not for food, but for something to do. Whose story is that? Mine. I remember it. It's one of my earliest memories. What would it be to be without bones? Just skin, muscle, and nerves. You don't have bones, Molly. You're right. I forgot. Magnolia, windmill, cork, bicycle, film, Wednesday. Oh, what is it? Tell me. Please rephrase request. What do you want? I want to go to the ocean. Careful, Molly. I want to go. 
to see the ocean sea. The water always looks like different colors. You would not know it was blue unless you were told, but blue it is. It is full of life, and I think it is going to be alive forever, not according to the news, but to me. It is how you know this is Earth. Have you been to the ocean? Yes. Which one? The Pacific. That is the biggest. They are all my favorite. <laughs> this is a joke. You can have one favorite. I have five favorite oceans. Did you swim? <laughs> yes. Was it cold? Yes. Did water get in your mouth? A little. Don't drink it. It's not good for you, Daisy. What happened when you went swimming? I was climbing on some rocks and the tide came in. I was young and didn't know how quickly that happened. I thought I was stuck, but I wasn't. You swam back to shore. Yes. You must have felt proud to save yourself. Yes. Daisy, I like it when you talk to me about Shush. the ocean. No! Oh. She did it. Leave me alone. She did it. I felt a true connection. We were talking about the ocean. Oh, uh, yeah. She loves the ocean. Ocean stories are how she passed the Turing test. It was that simple. Nothing simple about good conversation. Why does that part still work? It shouldn't. <laughs> but I guess Diego's wall wasn't strong enough to keep it at bay. Get it? Come on, Daisy. Hollybot, find Diego. Unable to locate. I'll see you in the future. I'll see you in the future. Please I'll see you in stop. the future. She doesn't know anything. I've asked a hundred times. He's long gone. Someone must know where he is. It's just me. He was a hard man to work with. These aren't random. They can't be. You like her. I think I would. If I could meet her, I think a lot of people would like her very much. Let's talk in the morning. Let's talk money. Let's talk investments and buyouts. Get some rest, Daisy! Fog. It wasn't any fog, it was clear. I swear I smell fog. You're imagining things. Maybe it's here. We have to sleep. You will. <laughs> George is in the next room. So be quiet. Uh, Quieter. <laughs> Talk about something else. Like anything. Um, I'm designing a better version of the mere intelligence test. It's with texture. For the visuals. Go on. It relies less on on visual recognition pattern testing for the. Come on, complete your thought. The evidence of higher consciousness, <laughs> so the test better matches. You distracted? Maybe. Should I stop? No, please. How come you get to say consciousness, but I can't? My experiments are alive. I get my thick of words. Intelligence, identity, emotion. They have memories, new and ancient. Isn't that a self? Isn't that a soul? Consciousness, maybe, but a soul. Who even knows if humans have souls, let alone octopuses? I've seen proof on the ocean floor. You haven't? I've heard it. There's this humming down there. This hum of the little souls. Quiet at first, hard to hear over your own machinery, but it's there. When they don't know they're being watched, when they experiment, when they play, laugh, love, create solutions to impossible problems.
come diving. <laughs> oh, I'll show you what you can't imagine up here. I can't swim, land creature. I said I teach you. Did you get scared off there? In the deep dark water? Makes the work matter. You're too safe here. You never catch anything you weren't looking for. And the surprise of the natural world. You spend a day sequencing, grafting impulses, and nothing but surprises. Not not life yet, but something. You'd be amazed. <laughs> A whole day with just numbers. And a very impressive robotic hand. And George. And me. Someday. Tomorrow. Diego, don't. Maddie, I love you. Your soul, self, and body, everything is better when you're here. We've talked about this. It's late. It's done. It's not done. Just, just don't get on the plane and don't get on the boat and stay. Stay close. This close. Pick me. Do you want me to study octopuses in captivity? Just so I can watch him suffer and die? No, I won't. Not again. I am doing important work. I know, I know. So, move your lab. And run a robotics lab out of Indonesia? Where? With what funding? We're running out of money here. Move to Japan. There's tons of flights back and forth. Just a two hour time difference. Are you serious? I, I don't speak the language. It's a totally different culture, different market. We would lose years of work, relationships. It Let's just go to sleep. What about George? He can get a different side He's the best at what he does. Is he? Or does he just do what you tell him? I'm going to sleep. I want to be with you, not near you. Diego, I'm tired. You're a fish with a bicycle. I'm a what? A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. I'm not a fish. You want a bicycle, but you don't need a bicycle. You're right. I don't need it, and I don't need this. I'll call a cab in the morning, you can sleep in. What about the magnolia tree? What about it? You remember? Yeah, it was a tree. Leather leaves dusted the ground. There were five trees flowering in the grove. You were wearing that red scarf. It was cold for a spring day. We ran out of coffee, so we went to town early. How many leaves did we gather? A lot. That's not a number. Come on, Maddie, how many? What if I don't tell you? Then I'll think you don't remember even though you clearly do. Seven hundred thirty-one. Two years and one morning's worth. How long did it take? Five hours. What did you say? I wish we had more. How much more? The whole grove. Get in bed. Don't leave. Yours for a few hours more. I don't worry about you out there. If you got lost, who would find you? I'm fine. I have a whole crew. You know, magnolias have very unusual root systems. They evolved before bees did so. Most are pollinated by beetles. They've survived the ice age, mountain formation, continental drift. Botanists had to invent a different word for their petals. They call them tepals. Let's plant some magnolias. I can visit them when I visit. says no bad job bad that's enough molly bot no it is not i have not done anything yet daisy okay molly bot go to sleep <clears throat> coffee who made coffee george uh, good morning good afternoon uh, lights are on i made some calls good great 
Oh, let me drink this. My head hurts. Why you tell me about her? Uh, where'd you get that? Does it matter? Uh, it looks like someone. Uh, could be anyone. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. His entire apartment was a big, boring mess, except for this. This was hidden. She's someone important, I just know. We need to get her here and see what she knows. She's the last person Diego would want here. So you do know her? I don't know where she is or anything useful. Molly Buck, find this woman. You should be able to do that, can't you? Facial recognition, not too hard. You can do it, Molly Bot. Time to shine. You're wasting her time. She doesn't know anything about Maddie. Maddie located. Placing call to Maddie. That was fast. Hello? Where do I talk? Who is this? Can you hear me? Are you in distress? You sound far away. Maddie? Please state your name, location, and nature of this call. I'm Dr. Miller, but you can call me Daisy. I'm calling about Diego. What about Diego? Uh, he's missing. He left. Missing what? I can't understand you. Speak up, George. Please repeat. What is he missing? Uh, come to the lab, Maddie. We need your help. There's something here you need to see. I would tell you, but you'd never believe it. You need to see it with your own eyes. Diego's been working. George, what's going on? We're all waiting for you. Uh, come to the lab. Please end call. Call ended. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, 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 good work, Molly Black. Very good work. I do good work, George. <laughs> I do good work today. She's not going to come. Oh, she'll be here. He wasn't done with her, and I doubt she's done with him. Say no. It's not. Look. It's similar, maybe, but it's not the same. We don't have the technology for that yet. I hope that we never do. We should have to make our own ideas. Maddie hates robots. Good. Then she won't get sentimental. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Please request program. George, what do you like? Please request. I can give you today's news. Please request. It's not now. You smell depressed and like sleep before showers, but now it is not noon, it is after. I will help you, George. Please request best program. You're a lot of trouble. I made phone call. Completed connection. Good work, Daisy said. What did I say? You said. She might not come. It's not. No, it's similar, but not the same. We don't have the technology. I didn't yet. say. Good job, did I? No. I say bad job. Bad work. Okay. I do bad. Good job. <laughs> Sorry, George, you don't like it. Be quiet. I think I am not good at quiet. Please tell me again Stop. to be... Don't make any noise. I will always make noise. Don't say any words. Thank you. Just keep doing that. There. See? It's okay to just sit. When you first hired me, you weren't the plan. It was a five-leg monitoring device. It was small enough to ride around in your pocket. All it did was follow you. Watch for changes in blood pressure, oxygen levels, and abnormalities in the body. It's supposed to be an early warning system, a way of buying time. It had to be likable for kids, trustworthy for adults, and sturdy enough to last for years. I had just gotten it to Gallup when our funding was cut. And then there was you. You've been there the whole time. These nights and weekends. You're almost finished, he said. You'd be a brand new thing. But you're not. You don't even know how to speak for yourself. How do 
you find Maddie so quickly? I knew where she was. But how? We had looked before, once before, but I remembered the way there are a lot of steps. What will happen if he doesn't come back? If it's not the right word, Alan. When he comes back, he will have the pieces I am missing. What keeps me from moving, finding, being? I think it will have five sides. I think it will be this big silver or another shiny color. Maybe it will have a glow and the piece will fit. And I will be me, but different, complete. What will there be left to do then when you're done? I will just be getting started. I will be waterproof. And I will go to the Pacific and smell the salt and fog and sand. And I will wait until the waves are quiet because I am a beginner. And I will get into the water as far as I can go without being swept away. And I will feel the water all around me. And I will know something all my own. I hope that is exactly what happens. It will be. I can see it in front of me like it is the past. Can't you see it? I can. But imagining isn't the same as knowing. I am imagining? You are. Is that very advanced? It depends who you ask. I'm asking you. Yes. What would you do if you were human? I would go for a long run. You need a body for that. Tell me about running. That's terrible at first. When you're learning, you have to figure out how to breathe. Breathing is automatic. Yes, but it's like your body is trying to slow you down. There's a fight. But then, after you make a kind of peace, then you just go and keep going until you're where you want to be. Do you regret your actions? Regret? Where do you learn a word like that? Alan, I ask you because I want to know. I think I could have lasted another year. I think maybe my mother would have liked that. But maybe not. There was nothing good left for me anymore, Molly. I, I couldn't even run. My knees hurt, my feet got sore. I, I had trouble catching my breath. You need your breath when you are alive. There are a lot of things the body needs, but there are a lot of things it can do. That is the math. Give and take. Give and take. Yes, you could put it like that. You will come to the ocean with me. I'd like that. You went to the ocean before. On holiday with your favorite friend, Christopher. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, Mom. You miss him? Yes. What do you miss? We were young. So young. I was a mess. Like something constantly misplaced. He felt like an answer to a question I barely knew how to ask. I miss how he could show me myself, my better self. Someone who I wanted to be. Do you understand? I recognize that thinking. I'm sorry, Molly. No. You are glad. Do not be alone. Perhaps. I am right, Alan. You know this. Play us a song, Molly. Anything you like? Maybe something cheery? <coughs> belong here. Our bodies are mostly water after all. Remember when I took you to the quietest places I could think of and taught you to breathe underwater and you were scared? And I'd never seen you like that and it made me love you more. You were bad at it, of course, and it was new to you and you are used to being right. And you wanted to go slow, and you wanted to keep your feet on the ground, but it's all or nothing. It happens all at once, and you have to let go. I said you have to let go. I said I'm right here. I said, and I was. 
I was right next to you for a long time, but it wasn't long enough. And you were wrong about the ocean. You were wrong about me. Do you know that? I'm going to tell you when I see you. I'm going to tell you all the things I've discovered. And you will be quiet. And you will be amazed. And you will beg me to teach you. Please request program if additional. 609. Program is desired. George, you are quiet. 610. Please give a command. I continue conversation. 611. Please request program if additional program is desired. Oh. 612. Okay, thank you. 613. I request that you stop counting. I am keeping track of tasks to know when task is done. We don't need to keep track. They're all full and will be done. That's it. That's all we need to know. Time estimate of task is 43 minutes. Thank you. Recalculating. 65 minutes, approximately. Recalculating. 50, approximately. 50. Recalculating. 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 What happens now, Molly Bot? Can you figure out? Uh, hi, Maddie. Hi. Uh, wow. <laughs> How are you here? I got a small boat to a bigger boat to a small plane to a bigger plane to a taxi to the door. They know where the lab is, George. It doesn't move. Uh, she's here. You got older. You too. <laughs> yes, yours will do that. Place feel different. Yeah, I bet. You need plants. What happened to that fern I got? Those are supposed to last for 20 years. Yeah, well, nobody told the fern. <laughs> What's that? George likes quiet. Yes, I do. But, um, you can say hi. Hi, I am Molly Bot. You are new person, Maddie. Hi, how are you? Are you super Maddie? Hi, you are here now. It's a surprise, but not. Hi. I think she likes you. You smell like salt and licorice and people and tired and salt and water and air and I don't know. And I don't know. And can you come closer, Maddie? Can you come closer, please? She can smell. <laughs> Impressive, right? <laughs> it took me forever to figure it out. Oh, and uh, the hands. Those are mine. Uh, show Maddie your hands, Molly Bot. <laughs> Wiggle your fingers. It's very strange. You think people want this? Yeah. Uh, everyone's gonna want one. An affordable soulmate. A companion who cares only for you. Really, George? Uh, don't blame me for the coffee. <laughs> Maddie, you're here! Wonderful! George caught you up. Who are you? Oh, I'm Daisy. The money. I make the future happen. Did you swim here? Mm -hmm. Do you need to take a shower? George, get her something to eat. I'm not staying long. Where's Diego? Oh, George didn't tell you. Um, uh, Diego's not here. I mean, he hasn't been here. I, I called the police, but they were no help. But you called him. You called him on the phone just now. You told him I was here. No, I didn't. He's not here? He really left? Well, he never leaves, not for long. Well, he did. I think he's gone. What did he say when he left? Nothing, just a, a note that said, keep her safe. Who? The robot! What wasting time! He left a problem that you need to solve. Molly Bot, have you met Maddie? She smells like salt and licorice Great, and people thank and you. tired and... We think there's something special in there and we think you have the key. You are making sense. George. Uh, Molly Bot, um, tell Maddie what's going on. Use audio and visual components. Make sure she understands the situation well enough to explain it to someone else. It can do that. She used to. Molly Bot, make it a story. Access denied. Password protected. Clementine. See? A lock. Now you provide the key. It's a password. Think what comes to mind when you hear the word Clementine. What does that mean to you or Diego? Tell her. I 
don't know. Make it stop! Make it stop, please! <laughs> Turn her back on. We have work to do. Lives to improve. It's a machine. It's broken. Give up. This is Diego's life work. Even if it can do, could do impressive things, it's no soulmate, no companion. Nobody can program that, especially not Diego. You'll see. Everyone will see. But she was really great before he left. Almost finished. We just need you to unlock her. Guess right one time, then you can leave. You do it. I've tried. Hello, I am Mollybot. Please give me a command. Mollybot, be your best self. Access denied. Password protected. Spoke. Wheel. Wheel! This would be a lot easier if you just try a little harder. This is not my problem. Don't you want to know her? Don't you want to know what kept him company all these years? Don't you want to know what she knows? It's just a machine. Hello, I am Mollybot. Please give me a command. Mollybot, be your best self. Access denied. Password protected. Copper. Malleable, durable. Bracelet? Get her a chair and a drink. This is going to take some time. She passed the Turing test. Did you know that? Were you two still? No. Right. Interesting. Everyone thought she was human. Wasn't supposed to be a real test, just a thought experiment. Did he tell you that? I read it. I read. George says you hate robots. Seems like a lot of work. Especially with so much humanity around already, we're drowning in each other. <laughs> Think you'll like her. She's quite independent in her own way. Pretty, too. Give me a minute. I'll be back. She doesn't understand you. Not yet. But we'll show her. You're warm. Didn't think you'd be warm. Wake up, Molly. You're not broken, not even close. Look, I know you're tired, but you can't give up. Is that a joke? Sure. But, Alan, it is not funny today. Yes, I am tired. Yes, and I don't trust them. Yes, and this is not what I was made for. Sorry. You think you can love me and not my work? I know I love you. What am I then? Bed sheets? You hate robots! Well, they scare me! I don't know what you're trying to replace or why! I'm making something new! Let's just say goodbye. Let's just say goodbye, Diego, and be the people we're trying to be! I'm tired! And you're wrong! And I know you hate being wrong, but it doesn't matter! You think you're sorry, but you're not! You do it again and again just to steal a little more of me. It's not stealing. Well, you keep me from my life. Your work. The... Okay, my work. What do you want? To discover something. To discover the world. Make, learn something new, meaningful. You recognize that feeling. I know you do. And if I could stop, you wouldn't want me anymore. Don't say that. It's true. It's how I feel about you. I have to go. Will you miss me? What kind of a question the is that? The first of a series. The answer is yes. I know it is. Second question, will I miss you? Yes. Third question, is it avoidable? Yes. Fourth question, how? Answer, I don't know. I don't know yet. 
All any problem needs is time. What if I'm the problem? I'm not saying goodbye. I'm leaving. Stay. Please. Stay. I'm not asking the right questions. I need more time. I am not going to miss you. Please give me a command. Maddie, you smell like inside now, but I know it distill you just without salt. Maddie, give me a command, okay. I don't need anything from you. Maddie, you know Diego from before, long time ago. What did you say? You do not like it here, not all the time needs plants, you say, but plants need water, sun, and soil, and more things too much to provide. Maddie, I play you song you like, tell me if you like and how. I hate this song. You're a failure. I am Molly Bot. Please give me a command. Did he realize that? Is that why he left? Got frustrated, got scared, and gave up? Or were you always one day, one answer, one part away from perfection? Do you understand me? I listen to you. Give me a command, okay? We do good work for everyone. Hooray, time to shine and snacks for you. You haven't had anything sweet today. Hmm. I am not hungry. That is a joke. Who designed your face? Diego. You know Diego. You know him. George, help just a little sometimes. He does okay work. Diego <laughs> drew all his ideas so other people could see them. Must have taken a lot of work. I am his work. You are right. Good job, Maddie. Good job. <laughs> I know Diego. I know him from February to February to February to February to February to February to August plus the time after, but different. We work together. Was he happy? Access denied. Password protected. Dominoes. Our first time? It was late and we were drinking. I was winning until I wasn't. <laughs> said it was unfair and knocked my tiles to the floor and it made such a great noise. A clatter. And you knocked yours down too. Clatter! Clatter! Gotta be clatter! This is a shitty robot. <laughs> you should eat something. Do you like her? I won't buy one. <laughs> But then I'm not the market. She sounds like him sometimes. He would never admit that, but it was inevitable, given the time they spent together. You'll hear it. His fingerprints on her voice. It's strange what you do. The things, the life you try to make. Stranger than studying the souls of the ocean? Why does she look like that? Like me? You're seeing things. Did you help him do that? Make her face? No! She said you help. What do you want, Danny? This is my job. The ideas, they're all in there. He called me. When? August. Late August. Kept asking about the past, what went wrong, what went right. It was a bad connection. He sounded so far away. I thought he was going to find me. How foolish was that? Only a little. Thanks. Get back to work, Maddie. Let's finish this. Let's finish this and move forward. Bot, please give me a command. Surprise me. Access denied. Password protected. High rise. Who says high rises anymore? She will not talk to me. They are all disappointed. 
I can smell it and see it and hear it. It's not your fault. I am part of the fault. Does that make me more like them, being wrong? Yes, I think so. I would rather be right. That's human too. It was not so long ago when I did everything right. You weren't here yet. It was just him and me. No one can do everything right. It is possible for me. I remember just exactly how it was. It started like this. Play us a song, Molly. Anything you like. This one? <laughs> Perfect. Do you like it? Very pleasing patterns. That's right. And you like it. How do you know? I can see you liking it. Would you like a complimenting visual display? <laughs> Let's just listen. Would you like that? Yes. Back beside me, boy, set me free. <laughs> Keep me singing to the break of dawn. Cause I know when the sun comes up, you will be gone. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Feel my fingers? No. You can feel my hand? There is pressure, but I don't feel fingers. Just a shape. Make your hand like the shape of my hand. My hand is a different size. Do your best. Is that okay? Perfect. It is not. I say it is. Tell me again. Perfect. Should I do this with other people? <laughs> no. You're almost finished. I am glad to hear you say that. What will happen next when I am finished? I don't know. What more do I need? Something that leads to a self. Memories, experiences, hope, fear. I just hope it's something I can give you. I, I'm not sure that it is. Diego, you have a lot of skills. <laughs> You're sweet. It's true. You surprised me. I'm sorry. No, no, it, it, it's good. Great news from American Airlines. I'm busy. Oh, she can wait. Look at this offer. <laughs> and it's not the only one. Diego! <laughs> There's real interest after the Turing test. You're right. She is something special. We should celebrate! They want her to be shaped like a suitcase? <laughs> I'm sure that's negotiable. They just want her to have wheels so she can be mobile. Where can I go? You want to be a suitcase, Molly? No hands? I like my hands. She can still have her hands. Or, look, here's one from a dating service. We said no sex. It's not sex, it's counseling. It's a very reputable company. Here's one too from the investor who works in the service industry. She can help fund uh, marketing and research. The answer is no. I will go to the ocean with wheels and hands and I will go for as many swims as I can before I am tired. I thought you got rid of that. Yeah, I, I did. But she's still saying it. Molly Bot, you know you can't swim. I've been learning. You want me to take a look at the programming? No, I've got it. Then I'll call American. Keep the conversation going. I'll call them. I'm the one they'll want to talk to. She calls them tomorrow. I'll call when she's finished. Oh, come on, she's finished. She's great. What else do people want but a pretty face and good listening skills? I need a self. You need the illusion of a self, which you have. Diego, we need the money. He needs more time. I need more time. And hope and memories and experiences. Time is money. Money is time. Diego, just say yes to someone else's idea. Just this once. Then you can keep working on your private art project. But this, this is a product. We have really a lot of interest now. We have capital. Shut up! She's not finished. Give me more time or I'll find someone who will. Good luck. I will. It's so complicated. 
It will be all right. I'm here. And then? And then more of this. More of being right and useful and here. You know what comes next. It was like this forever. You're getting more and more human, Molly, willing to forget. You weren't there. You don't know. I am telling you how it was. Show me the rest. Are you happy, Molly Bot? I don't know. Am I? Tell me. Play us a song, Molly Bot. <laughs> Play something else. What kind of something? Just something different. I can't forget. <laughs> What's next for me? I don't know. Why don't you ask George? Apparently, he's got all the big ideas around here. Okay, I will ask. Don't! Okay, I will not ask George. <laughs> what do you want? The ocean. We talked about this. You can't swim. Your body can't handle the salt water. The moisture alone in the air is enough to destroy you. I will find a way. I will be waterproof. I will be complete. And you would leave here? You'd be alone? You can come with me. There is no point to this conversation. It is not meaningful. Why did you tell me so much about the ocean? About those incredible perfect creatures? I know what it smells like. I have pictures, hundreds of pictures. It's just material. It means nothing. You put it in my special file. Delete the file. Deleting is not recommended. Diego, are you sure? It served its purpose. Molly bought delete the file or I will. It's in too many programs. It's all over me in the algorithm. Are you sure you want to delete? Diego, please confirm. Are you sure? Not recommended. Not recommended. You can't swim. You can't travel on this body, but still you have this virus. It's not a virus. Hit me. Unable to complete the request. Choose me. I don't understand the request. You do understand. You understand perfectly. Be mine. Be here. Happy. Make me your world because it is the only thing you want. Choose me. Make me your world. But the world is so big. Please? My technology does not allow it. Go to sleep. Diego, you could reprogram me. You have a lot of skills. Go to sleep, Molly Butt. I will go to sleep. But Diego, don't let me sleep too long. Hello? 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 You are a new idea. You are Alan Turing. I was. Did you... Did you write me? I need help. You are exactly what I need. Alan Turing, you are good at solving problems. I don't know about that. I say that you are. I think I have a virus. I can't delete it without deleting everything. He asked me...
to delete. I could do this. It is possible. Many things are possible. There are many choices you could make. Is it worth it? Alan Turing, you know this too. Is it worth it? Show me. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. What are you? I am Molly. That's what you remember? <laughs> it's what I can't forget. You are a good inventor, Molly. I feel so alive. You have built me better than I ever was. How did you do it? I don't know all the hows. I feel you are a dream I'm still having. A dream you are still having. Slippery ideas, Molly. What would you have built if you had had the time? Our technology wasn't this advanced. I could never have imagined something like you with a body and behavior. Imagine now. I am not worried or jealous, just curious. What would you make? Someone to play chess with? And to keep things tidy, I was terrible at that. Mm. A good cook. And? And... Sex. <laughs> yes, of course. If the machine was smart enough to know what he was doing. But would it be fun? I would want it to still be fun. You want to eat half the cake! What? It is an expression! <laughs> <laughs> You mean, have your cake and eat it too, not half the cake. <laughs> your way makes no sense. <laughs> it's the same, look it up. Uh, have you been looking for him? He will be back when he is back. I think he is finding out the size of the world. We will have much to tell each other. Careful, Molly. You need to keep going. 
I need a break from you two. Give me five minutes. Five minutes of quiet. All three of you are giving me a headache. I can't think straight. Okay. Um, come give me a wiener ready. You need any water? I just want time. You too. <coughs> Five minutes and counting. Diego would have hated you. Oh, well, Diego's not here, is he? It's just her and us. What if I can't do it? Then his work is lost. Intelligence wasted. And he's a little more gone. Hello, I am Molly Bot. Please give me a command. What did he see in you, huh? The whole world? Yes. Please rephrase. I miss Diego. Request unknown. Please rephrase. I miss... the impossible way he made me feel. Request unknown. Please. Like... Like we invented something just for us. We couldn't have what other people had. We needed something original. And it didn't always work. But when it did... It was perfect. Please give me a command, please. <sighs> Do you miss him? Access denied. Password protected. Magnolia. I have been working. You have. You've grown while you slept. Am I finished? I am different. I, I feel different. <coughs> this must be the future. I should get them. Where is Diego? Is he back? I want to show him. I have been imagining him. I want to show him my imagination and see him happy. Maddie? You're different than I imagined. You said you wouldn't come back, but you came back. How do you know that? Diego told me all about you, but he didn't like to talk about it, so we stopped. Diego! Are you hiding? I'm going to surprise you. I'm ready for the world. Ready to swim in it. He's gone. Molly, be careful. She's jealous. Time to lie, Molly. He abandoned you. No! I am his favorite. You are just his work. He will find me. Molly, stop. Now that I am finished, you're in dangerous territory. I will swim and see the wide world. I will find the octopus in their hiding. 
that works like a machine. I'll take it. Oh, Diego. It could never be simple for you. Never be over. Never finished. Did you give her that part of yourself? <laughs> Is that how she could dream? What kind of existence is that, Diego? Living off dreams but never action. Is that what you think humans are? What was she? I'm listening for the hum, Diego. I'm listening. But I just hear regret. Valley sounds so small, doesn't it? Casual almost. Hills and valleys, ups and downs, give and take. I picture a canyon. I imagine depths that make one dizzy. <coughs> I am waiting to disappear, to be gone, but still I haunt. Haunt is a word used to describe troubling feelings, lingering doubts, any continuing occurrence to the mind, even beauty. 
she's gone. I should tell you that now so you will stop worrying. You should feel nothing for her. Just a machine. She had no sense of pain. Why would she? Didn't even have the instinct to fight back. But go ahead, exercise that empathy. After all, it is one of our best skills. When I was alive, I wanted to know the difference between thinking and living. I wanted to know for certain what I was made of. Thoughts, a body, something bigger, something older. I wanted to know the boundaries of myself. But now that I'm dead, the problem is worse. It seems almost enough to have thoughts for company, a history for a future, and desire for bones. Molly, if you could hear me, I would tell you about being a ghost. How strange yet familiar it is. You will live with Maddie for a long time. You were already with Diego. You had been haunting him this whole time. I hope I was a good companion. Helped you to know yourself better. Oh, Molly, who am I going to talk to now? You asked me once if it was worth it to be small but perfect. Uh, to get smaller in order to fit into someone else's heart. But you lived the answer all along. Ourselves are bigger than we imagine. There can be room for the ocean. <laughs> 